Good evening, Rams. I'm your entertainment guru, Justin Rears, here to guide you through your Tuesday dose of entertainment. We have an exciting show with a returning NOCO hotspot, an up-and-coming donut shop, and more. So, let's get started. Dunkin' Donuts and Voodoo Donuts have some new competition on the horizon. The Donut Club is having the grand opening here in Fort Collins this Saturday. The Donut Club, co-owned by the founders of the Dutch Bar, uh, the Dough Bar, excuse me, which appeared on Shark Tank, will commemorate its grand, reopen grand opening with a ribbon cutting ceremony starting at 8 in the morning. With the donut eating, with donut eating games, contests, and raffles, you may just have to lay off your diet for a little while. With uh, movie bistros and IMAX becoming the go-to cinema experience, drive-ins are disappearing on the map. However, there's definitely something to be said about the outdoor, personal movie-going experience that faux leather and packed seats can't ever compare to. Luckily for us, we have an authentic drive-in theater experience right next door. After a three-month break, the Holiday Twin Drive-In Theater is taking your ticket stubs with its grand reopening this past weekend. With the passing of its preceding owner, Wes Webb, the family-run business is happy to bring back a local no-co fixture with new additions to the, to the snack bar and renovations outside. Most of the community would say it's our drive-in, as in they own it, uh, which we love, right? I think the, the coolest part is everyone takes ownership in it. They, they treat it as their own, and they really care. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Um, as the sole surviving drive-in theater in Northern Colorado, there are eight drive-in theaters in total in all of Colorado. Holiday Twin wants its return to bring back comfort and fun to the community. Holiday Twin has screenings on Fridays and Saturdays this season. You can check out their listed movie lineup at HolidayTwin.com. It feels like that one song from The Greatest Showman has slowly churned its way through the internet meme factory and artistic renditions on YouTube. Although it may be a bit much in my opinion, this lip sync video is not something to ignore. The Laramie County Sheriff's Office released a lip sync battle video that received praise and a personal shout out from Hugh Jackman on Instagram last fall. Now, the lip sync video is in the running to win CBS's new one hour special, Lip Sync to the Rescue. The video features the Laramie County Sheriff's Office lip syncing to the musical song, The Greatest Show. The top 10 finalists and winners will be revealed during the live TV special with a premiere date yet to be announced. You can vote for your favorite video online. And uh, this extremely spicy cable television show needs no introduction. Spanning eight seasons, Game of Thrones returned to King's Landing and Winterfell this past Sunday with record ratings for the season's, season's eighth premiere. According to HBO, citing Nielsen estimates, uh, the one-hour opener drew an average audience of 11.8 million viewers. Uh, the, this, uh, this season, this season seven, this breaks season seven's record 12.1 million views. While I like that the Game of Thrones is hashtag winning, I find it troubling that more than 11 million people have seen exactly 102 named characters die over the course of eight years on their television and laptop screens. Uh, although, who's counting? Well, that's all the time I have tonight, Rams. Thank you for tuning in and making sure to, co make sure to come back tomorrow for Ram Life Entertainment. Same time, same channel with the people you know. Stay safe and have a great night.